What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to today's video. So um, recently news kind of surfaced in the mainstream media that um, basically President Trump uh, was basically withdrawing from like 144, I, ha I have articles pulled up here, but basically the United States is withdrawing from a 144 year old international postal like treaty in a sense, like deal. <laughs> Um, between customers and a lot of you dropshippers, right, that are familiar with ePacket and know what ePacket is. Well, the the history behind ePacket was basically supposed to give like developing countries um, easier ways to basically like receive and send packages, if that makes sense, right? And China was one of those, but China's been developing so fast that they've been able to like they like they got the ePacket called like like privilege, I guess is is the right word, but they got that ability and then they sort of like they kept developing and kept developing and now. You know, um, we basically, um, most dropshippers starting off, use ePacket, right? Um, because it's the cheapest shipping method out there and it's a lot better than the AliExpress mail, um, which, you know, can you can end up with lost products, you can end up with, um, you know, long delays and everything else and it's a lot cheaper than like DHL, which is like a $40 shipping fee, right? Um, so the big question, like, especially like right when you hear this information, you know, you're, you're like, oh my gosh, like, is dropshipping screwed? Are we screwed? Or is anyone, you know, dropshipping from AliExpress screwed? Um, the, the, the short the short answer is no. Um, for first of all, like this, the process of withdrawing from this guys is going to take at least a year, is what all these articles are saying. So basically, like even even if we were to completely withdraw and not have the ability for e packet shipping from China to the U.S. or China to anywhere where you know you're getting sales from, right? That would take at least twelve months. Okay, at least twelve months. But there's also news going on that you know obviously like the US is withdrawing so like on the political side of things they're withdrawing like like they're, they're making a statement right the president Trump's making a statement and basically the the other like everyone else in the 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 deal right is going to basically try to negotiate with them to find something where they can actually you know re like like agree to right so again i don't think this is going to kill drop shipping at all i actually think it's going to help drop shipping okay what do i mean by that well first of all if ePacket is eventually, you know, completely killed off, all these Chinese suppliers that have been getting a lot of sales from AliExpress, right? Like, like you have to think of it as like both sides of the spectrum, okay? So there's a market of suppliers on AliExpress that need sales, right? They need, they need, they need money somehow, right? So again, if dropshipping is like, if ePacket's gone, a lot of people that were reliant on ePacket, right, they can't afford a $40 DHL shipping fee in their margins with, with your products, right? You probably can't afford that. So you're going like, okay, what do they do? Well, I think a lot of these um, Chinese suppliers are going to actually start housing the information or not information, housing the products in the U.S. or in warehouses that are in, you know, larger um, countries like the U.S. and over in the U.K. and stuff like that. Um, which is what we're already seeing, guys. Like, you, you can look at AliExpress, like, there's already, like, Alibaba, AliExpress, like, they're, they're trying to accommodate to U.S., um, you know, business owners, right? Like, they're, they're trying, like, you, when, you're, when you're looking for products, right, you can literally search, you know, ships from U.S., right? There's more and more suppliers every single day that are slowly adjusting and slowly shipping to the U.S. Now, like, I think this is eventually, like, long-term going to be a good thing for dropshipping because it's going to allow, you know, a lot more brands to quote unquote compete with Amazon in just terms of shipping, right? Because again, with ePacket, you still have a fairly long wait, like 12 to 20 days sometimes, okay, right? Um, now, if everyone's starting to move their products to the US, you're looking at three to five day shipping times, right? Right, and then again, like it, it'll be slightly more expensive, right? Maybe a dollar or two more for postal fees, but if a dollar or two is going to kill your product margins, then like you have a whole nother problem, like you, you aren't charging enough, or your marketing is completely whack, or if you can't afford a dollar or two, okay? So, Again, I think long term, this is going to be good for dropshipping because it's going to either force, you know, suppliers to uh, basically add more product into warehouses where we get better shipping times. So like store products in the U.S., store products um, in Europe and stuff like that. Um, or, you know, the U.S. will just reach a re-agreement or something and it'll be back to normal, uh, something like that. But guys, like, there's always multiple sides to the spectrum. You kind of have to think of it like, like what would initially happen and then kind of like the backlash of that. Um, and this again, this is a super quick video just going over it because... Um, I got a lot of people asking me, especially like in the Instagram DMs, they're like, yo, I saw a news article saying that, you know, ePacket is like gone or like Trump is getting rid of ePacket. And so I did some research and, you know, it's like that's sort of happening, um, but not necessarily the exact case. So again, guys, this is just a very, very quick video kind of breaking down 
um, basically what just happened, which is you know President Trump is withdrawing from the 144 year old deal between all these other countries um, to basically get you know that that faster shipping time, and so that's going to be removed as the U.S. withdraws from that. But then again, there's everyone else in that deal that wants the U.S. there, so they're going to try and renegotiate. That could happen. If they don't, then the e-packet is actually gone. Then more suppliers are actually going to move to the U.S. store products in the U.S. We as dropshippers get better shipping times. Blah blah blah. Now. Again, this is mostly for beginner dropshippers that um, are going to like freak out about this. But if you're a seasoned dropshipper, most of the time you already have connections with suppliers. And most of the time, especially if you are like adjusting to market trends, you'll actually be starting to work with suppliers in the U.S. or suppliers that are already storing products in the U.S. Um, just because you're ahead of that curve. But again, guys, there's no huge drastic change coming. Um, if anything, we'll see something happen in like 12 months. Um, but either way, I don't think it's a huge deal, guys. I don't think it's something that a lot of you guys should be you know, freaking out about, um, but it's something just to note and keep an eye on. And again, I think it'll actually benefit the dropshipping industry in the long run and allow it um, to compete with um, other you know, businesses just because of the faster shipping time. So that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this very just quick update, and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to drop a comment. I respond to everybody's comments, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. I got some crazy, crazy cool videos coming out for you guys really soon. Um, I just wanted to get this one out there just because like the news media, like it just dropped um, and I got a bunch of DMs right away. So just to kind of like quench that itch or scratch that itch. But that's the video guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a great day. I love you. Check the links in the descriptions down below for everything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.